Guys, in this video, let us start off with this pinguicula, right? How do they pronounce this? Listen to the pronunciation. Pinguicula, okay. So basically, uh, in uh, degenerative conditions of conjunctiva, right, there are four things, pinguicula, pterygium, concretions and amyloid degeneration, okay. So basically here, we want to look at pinguicula, which is something like this. Right, pinguicula, you see here, yellow kind of a growth here, right. So, this is pinguicula. Then you have pterygium, so don't confuse with pterygium. Pterygium is this one, guys. So, this one is pterygium. You can see, this is pterygium. Okay, guys, first understand what this pinguicula is. Basically, it is a common, very common degenerative conditions of, uh, condition of the conjunctiva. So, here there is yellowish, yellowish white part patch on the bulbar conjunctiva near the limbus. Very clear here. Yellowish white patch, right, on the bulbar conjunctiva near the limbus. So, this condition is termed pinguicula because of its resemblance to fat, okay, which means pinguous because it is very, uh, it resembles fat. It looks like fat. So, looks like fat. Where exactly is it? This pinguicula. Wait. Let's not put it here. So this pinguicula, today we are looking at what? Pinguicula, right? So this one is what? It resembles fat. First of all, what is it? It is a degenerative condition of the conjunctiva. It resembles fat, right? And it is yellowish white patch on bulbar conjunctiva near limbus. This much you have understood. It is very common. They are saying it is very, very common. Extremely common. They are saying extremely common condition. This condition is called pinguicula because it resembles fat. Okay. Now, why does this pingula happens? Pingula happens. Why? They don't know. Exact reason they don't know. It has been considered as an some ch due to age change. Okay. Etiology, they are saying it is due to age. It occurs more commonly in persons who have been exposed to strong sunlight. Okay, strong sunlight. Then, what are we reading today, guys? Pinguicula. Okay. So, basically, if they are exposed to strong sunlight, then if they are exposed to dust, wind, that all, that I'm also, it can happen. It Earlier they used to think this the pingucula will become a pterygium, but now they know they are different distinct disorders. Okay, it is a distinct disorder. It is nothing to do with pterygium. Okay, pingucula and will not become pterygium. Both are independent. Okay, coming to pathology. Now let us look at the pathology of this pingucula. What's the spelling? P i n g ping g u e c u l a pingucula. Okay. So, now let us look at the pathology of pingucula. So, this is an elast elastotic degeneration of collagen fibers with substantia propria of conjunctiva. Did you understand even one word? So, there is elastotic degeneration, right, of what? Degeneration of the collagen fibers of what? Of the substantia propria of the conjunctiva. Simply to say it is conjunctival degeneration. Right, so the conjunctiva is getting degenerated where the collagen fibers of the conjunctiva are getting degenerated. So, if you know the conjunctiva layers, you know that there are um, uh, fibrous, la fibrous layer, everything you have seen, right? In conjunctiva, the layers, do you remember the layer structure? You remember the epithelial layer, adenoid layer, fibrous layers. Fibrous layer has a lot of colla collagen fibers, you know that, right? So, basically, the collagen fibers um, in the substantia propria of the conjunctiva, they are going to undergo elastotic degeneration. Okay. Okay. Then, substantia propria of conjunctiva. Okay. Then, coupled with deposition of amorphous hyaline material, Okay, so this degeneration should be coupled with some amorphous hyaline material deposit. Okay, so that is when you will get this pingucula. So, why this happened guys? Because 
there is some deposit of some amorphous hyaline material. What is deposited? Amorphous hyaline material is deposited. Amorphous hyaline material in the substance of conjunctiva, there is some deposit. First of all, there is degeneration of the collagen fibers and then there is a deposit of some hyaline material. Hyaline, H is important here. Hyaline material is deposited. Amorphous hyaline material. Okay. So, this is the pathology. Now, let us move on to the clinical features. Ping, gu, cula. Just I am putting like this so that you can remember. Ping, gu, cula. Okay. Now, clinical features. What will you see in the clinical features for ping, gu, cula? It will be bilateral, usually stationary condition. So, it will be a bilateral condition. So, what should we do if it is a bilateral condition? We will draw two eyes. So, that we will remember. Otherwise, we will not remember. That is why. Mm -hmm. Two eyes. Pingucula. Pingucula. So it will be a bilateral condition, they are saying. Pingucula is a bilateral condition. Okay. Now, what are the clinical features? It is a bilateral condition. Pingucula is bilateral. Usually stationary condition, okay, usually stationary, that means they are not 100%, they are not saying, but it is usually stationary condition. Stationary means what? It does not move. Stationary condition, it will be presenting as what? Yellowish white triangular patch near the limbus in, on the bulbar conjunctiva, already we told you all that. The apex of the triangle is away from the cornea. The apex of the triangle is away from the cornea. So, Look at this guys, the apex will be away from the cornea, okay. The apex will be away from the cornea and usually the nasal side is affected first here. It's very clear here. This is the nose of this guy. So, definitely it is the nasal side is affected first, okay. And then the temporal side is affected. When conjunctiva is congested, it stands out as an avascular prominence. So, if the congesti conjunctiva is congested, then it will stand as a avascular, it will stand out as a prominence, avascular prominence. So, did you understand guys, it is more towards the nasal side. First it will appear in nasal side, then in temporal side. Temporal means where? Here, the temporal bone side, right? And if the conjunctiva is congested, it will stand out as a avascular prominence, okay? The triangle, the, the tri it will appear as a triangle and the apex will be away from the cornea. So, did you understand the clinical features? Now, let us move on to pingucula, the complications. Complications. What can happen if the person gets pingucula? Basically, inflammation, intraepithelial abscess formation, calcification, rarely that to calcification. And that they do not believe that it becomes a pterygium. That was an older mm -hmm. concept. They doubt They doubt that it can convert into a pterygium. Okay. It is very common. You should understand this. So, what and all can be there? Inflammation, intraepithelial abscess, intraepithelial abscess formation. Rarely, there will be calcification. And then there is a doubtful conversion to Pterygium. Okay. Now, what is the treatment for this pingucula? Pingucula. What is the treatment? So, basically, there is no treatment required at all. They are saying. However, when cosmetically it is unacceptable, then they can excise it. Okay. When inflamed, if it is treated with steroid. So, basically, no treatment is required. required okay no treatment required only if it is required cosmetically then it can be excised and if it is inflamed you can give steroids okay so that is about pingucula guys so we have understood the pingucula in this video next video we will continue and will you we will look at the sterigium what do you say okay so come back for pterygium guys bye bye Thank you.